Welcome to Melinda K Expeditions. Subscribe to our channel, like, comment, share it with your mates. We would love to have you aboard as we restore Melinda K to her former glory and we take off on adventures of a lifetime. Before showing you the interior fit-out projects in this episode, we wanted to take you back and share some images showing the sheer magnitude of this project and just how far it has come so far. He just pulled stuff out of it and took it to the dump. Thing that wasn't the vessel, so anything that was added to the steel structure came out, except the engine. The main engine, the gardener, stayed in put. So all the furnishings, all the insulation, the wiring, the pipe work, the hoses, the hydraulics, everything came out and it was just a complete bare shell. So we sandblasted, um, we had, I had sandblasters come in and sandblast and then I would then blow it down really quickly, shovel all the sand into the center of the room and start spray painting. Once that was done, then we could get rid of the sand the next day. But we did every part of inside this boat, sandblasted. And we had no glass, so we had boards all up around there and it was like a dungeon in here. We In the middle of the day, we had to have lights on so that we could see. And um, it was very, very primitive, very primitive. Today we're building wall frames, moving rooms. Today we are moving bedrooms into our new room so that we can build a bathroom in this back corner. We put this little wall up yesterday and now we're going to, we're just fixing all this noisy ply. Then we're going to put the wall up here, the end of the ensuite, and build the bathroom in the back corner. We decided to go for an open plan bathroom. Basin is going here and toilet in behind this little wall, but no door on the front. Second bathroom, walls up. All right, where's my steam? Stop looking, I have a look. What's happening, Win? Dishes, cleaning up, oh. packing up. What are you doing, Brian? Trying to fit through the stairwell. Are you going to give us a tour? What have we done in here today? Some walls. And bit of an undercoat in a beautiful. What, what colour do you call that? <laughs> oh, nice. Cadbury chocolate. Yeah, nice. So we have a porthole to go in here. Big porthole. Nice. Yeah, and we've got all our framing protectors. Oh, nice. It's sealed up. Yeah. Cool. So this will be a bedroom in there. So all these walls will be lined and everything yet, obviously. Another bunk bedroom in there. Walk-in bathroom. Currently insulation storage. It's hard to work that out. 
And then we do have a master sort of bedroom going on in here. Pretty, pretty schmick. And uh, already got the bathroom underway in here. Shower in there. Sink happening. Little lid walls in there. It's gonna be a gonna be a dunny, a toilet in there. Anyway, it's gonna be a palace. After a lot of research, Des ended up deciding on hardwood ply panelling to line the main saloon deck walls. Des and Bronnie handpicked panels with great texture and colour. This not only looks great, but is reasonably priced. For these timber wall panels, our process was a 120 grit sanding with the orbital sander, cut and measure for position, and then four coats of a Feast and Watson product that is an oil slash varnish combination, all sanded between each coat. And well, we are pretty stoked with the finished product. We got the uh, inspection. That's <laughs> We're pretty excited about yeah. it. <laughs> no. What are we doing, Brad? We're fitting some penguin on the whole of the upright. Wow, that was great. It's got some new shoes, but it looks pretty good. What are you doing, Desmond? I am cutting panels for the wall. And I'm doing it and I'm not swearing because I've been told that I swear too much and if we're going to start doing filming then I've got to tone the language down. When he said that first I thought <laughs> but he's probably right so I'm going to have to tone it down a bit. Ronnie that was looking amazing. Absolutely. Getting this all sheeted up. Battle decks measuring up that section there. That's the insulation foam. Heading out on the aft deck. Having a wet mate? Yep. We're getting there, mate. Lots of upcuts. What do you think, Mark? Yeah. Coming up really good. Um, pretty happy with all that. Be a lot different once all the trims go around. Oh, yeah. And the window. Put a bit of movement here in this top corner. Is that okay? When I'm brushing out, the tires are moving a bit. Is that all right? Yeah, that's supposed to happen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's how good this is going to look. Instant brilliance and gratification. Yeah. My brush is just getting. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Yep. My men's on the job here. And uh, got a new hillbilly audition to the uh, outdoor <laughs> session. <laughs> That's perfect, isn't it? Eh? Uh, First attempt at making a label. Going well, Des. Check this out. What? Look at our labels. Yeah. <laughs> Get some You got your glasses on? Oh, for sweet. I can't even read that with your glasses. <laughs> Am I started? <laughs> I don't know. What do you know? Oh, so do I want to know with it, can anyone without their glasses on read any of the labels that we've put up there today? 
No. No. That wasn't the, that wasn't the answer a second ago when we went on camera, was it? <laughs> you know what? I'm, I'm going to think this is my decision. Hey, my, my Ronnie, idea, do you and you don't think I'm think i a genius, right? <laughs> is either a flexible light out here, or just a light coming out that shines down on the panel? So you can see everything here. You can put a little light bar across here. It comes out and shines down. So you don't actually see it in your face, but it shadows <laughs> down here. You're a genius. I mean, bloody oh. hell. <laughs> straight across the line. Straight across there, eh? Yep. There oh, I mean, yeah. Dad, I... Oh, I just, that's just a prop. We're just gonna use a square and square ends. What are we making here, Steve? We're doing a curved booth seat. A curved booth seat. That's exciting. I am at the, uh, the seat. It's looking fabulous. Why not? Okay, after a hard day's work, Des is having a beer. <laughs> Steve's got nothing. Get Steve a water. No, that's good. You need a water? Yeah, I probably do need a water. He needs a water. So we have an amazing curved lounge. We ran out of timber for the second time round. <laughs> so we're missing that part there. But this is the rest of it. Well done, guys. <laughs> this is so amazing. We love it. It's so big. Lots of happy meals are going to be spent here. But of course, only when it's raining. Yeah, I play you my favorite songs on a car ride while you list me all the people that left you in your life. Oh. He's trying to ride and drink a midi at the same time. And I'm not sure that it's working. Good boy. <laughs> Point out something yeah. to me, mate. Just we had a crack. Oh you a crack. Where is he? And um <coughs> madam. <laughs> That's been man post. Can you point out what this might be? Oh, That's your man purse. That's your man purse.
on this shit. Up the line. That's, that's the verdict, mate. Well, you can sit still and stop rocking the table. Yeah. Yeah. I tell you what, it is under the line. Right. line. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Join us next time as we continue renovations and still enjoy some good times along the way. So the rotation. <laughs> Every night we rotate from left to right. So Make sure you subscribe to our channel, leave us a comment, share or just give us a like. It's a free way to help support the Melindy K Expeditions.